So uh, we're blessed with a wonderful, beautiful day today and, uh, and, and lots of vaccine. And so far in the first three hours today, we vaccinated over 775 people and um, things are rolling very smoothly. It's been a really, really good day. What does it mean to get that kind of response, uh, you know, considering the ones that we've had in the first two hours? Right. So I, I think a lot, and I, I know already that a lot of these folks are folks who were due for their second dose last week. And so I'd encourage them to come out to go ahead and get their second dose and, and complete their series. And that's what we're seeing. We've also uh, scheduled those folks sort of throughout the day in, in batches every couple of hours. And so we expect a steady flow throughout the day today. This will probably be our biggest day of vaccines uh, yet this year. Are you seeing a lot of uh, people from the new group that has been adding to yeah, we are seeing a, a, a good number who are in the newly eligible by the governor's directive uh, that starts today. And um, and so that, that's also very good, and we expect to see more. Now, there's been talk from other doctors around the United States about this is, um, they're being optim optimistic about this um, helping reach herd immunity by the summer. What's your take on that? So um, uh, herd immunity is, is that concept that if, we, if everybody's vaccinated or protected, or most everybody is, then the virus doesn't have anybody to go to. And, and yes, that is part of the strategy. We think that we'll be able to get close to that by the summer. What we're watching very closely are the variants that are beginning to be detected and, and emerging, uh, and whether those are actually gonna be covered by the vaccine. So there's a lot of laboratory science going on right now about those variants to, to make sure. And the, the vaccine manufacturers are already looking at strategies to update their vaccine if needed. And um, how important do you think it is for you know, people to take advantage of today? So uh, this will be here all this week, and, and I've got folks scheduled out through this week uh, for, so that not everybody comes on one day, of course. We want it, we want it to be uh, reasonable. And, and right now our wait times are well less than an hour for folks who get to the parking lot right now, less than an hour from now, they'd be in, in their car with their, their vaccine administered already. So we think that's pretty darn good. And, um, and it, the weather is great today. We definitely want to take advantage of that because we're expecting more adverse weather, mostly rain toward the end of the week. And so there's reports that the death tolls from COVID today is like 500,000 or more. Um, how does this help you remain optimistic of yeah. the fact that we have added a new age group yeah. uh, in brackets? Right. So we know that 80% of the deaths have been in people over age 65. And, and that has been our first priority as we've gotten vaccine available. Uh, and that's really the critical factor. The, uh, the expansion of the eligibility is helpful because that reduces the spread in the community and also will save lives. And we estimate that for every 100 people who get vaccinated, we're, we're saving five to eight or even 10 lives downstream. So it's, it's, this vaccine is, is very effective and critical to, to saving lives. And have you talked to some of the people in line? What are they saying to yeah. some of the people from that new age group? Yeah, they're, they're very excited to, to be eligible to get vaccine now. They're anxious to be able to see their children and grandchildren and, and begin to travel more, get life back to normal, they say. Uh, I was exchanging emails with a lot of folks last night about the specific eligibility criteria. And just so folks know, you know, they will have to just attest that they do meet the criteria. We, they don't have to bring a note from their doctor or anything else about their health conditions. They just have to say, you know, that they do meet one of the conditions. And uh, what changes did you guys make for today? Do you have to increase Right. We uh, we added a third lane, uh, a third tent, uh, two more lanes to to meet the demand for today and for all of this week, uh, especially with having to catch up from last week because about 2,500 people didn't get back, didn't get their second dose last week, are going to be coming in this week for it. So uh, we wanted to make sure we had plenty of capacity to to move folks through efficiently. Uh, we also have more staff, uh, medical students and nursing students who are assisting us uh, each day. What's the number of vaccinations y'all have on hand today? So we have, uh, for this week, we have about 7,500 vaccine doses available. So we have plenty to cover those second doses that are due last week and this week, as well as first doses. If there's anything else you'd like to add? Uh, 
we just really appreciate all the community support and the patience of folks who are coming uh, because they're waiting a little while, but uh, most of them are telling me it's, it's tolerable and they're very happy to get their vaccine. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys.